all this camp got any referrals for us? Was we last night, mate? Could we like? Because what's the thing now? It's five rows. No, surely he's happy with that. Especially with the limited spend. A hey, 21 purchases, nine rows. 39 rows. 12 rows there. When's his loom? Is that today? Yeah. Do you mention Clavio? No. Fair enough. <clears throat> Is he saying no problem? No. So I need to do this for right after this call. Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Dangle George, a social media marketing online coach. And for today's video, I thought I would do something different, mix it up a bit and uh, record another day in the life vlog. I've already got a few of these videos on my YouTube channel. And to be fair, they always perform quite well. But uh, for the last few weeks and months, actually, um, I've just been recording info you know, type videos, just providing as much value as I possibly can regarding social media marketing, starting your own agency, you know, doing outreach, getting in contact with clients, uh, selling your services and actually getting results for those clients. So for today's video, I just thought I'll do a bit more of a relaxing type video uh, in the form of a vlog. We haven't really got a busy day or anything like that, so the perfect opportunity for me to just record a quick video like this. Um, obviously just had the morning check-in with, uh, with Elliot, my head of operations. We went through all of our client accounts, made sure that all of our clients are profitable, all of our clients are getting good results. Um, we've got a call at 11. Um, Elliot, my head of operations, has got a call at quarter past 10 as well. Um, what else have we got? A call at quarter to four. I'm going to go live on Facebook at three as well. Um, and then I've got a few update loops to send our clients. So every week, rather than send them a PDF or report or getting on a redundant call, uh, we send them a loom update with what's happened in the previous period, how much money we've earned them, of course, and then the next steps for the next seven days. And then in seven days' time, we send another video again with you know what's happened and if our hypothesis was correct or not. So that is it for today's video, and I'll just bring you guys along with me on my day. Uh, might answer a few more questions from the Facebook Live in more depth and detail on this vlog as well, just to give you guys a little bit of value on a entertaining vlog like this. But before we do anything, I'm gonna get a quick morning walk in. Usually I get it done before the morning check-in, but obviously I've recorded this vlog, so uh, yeah, couldn't actually get it done. Um, I'm actually averaging, if we can just quickly see that here, hopefully that is in focus. I'm averaging 4,585 steps a day, which is obviously not a lot at all. Wanna get that up to at least eight to 10,000, so that's why um, I go for morning walks. Usually I try and be as productive as possible on those walks, listen to a podcast, listen to an audio book, anything like that. But um, yeah, with my work being, you know, mainly sitting down behind my desk, um, it is good to just get a bit of fresh air every single day and uh, basically keep myself sane by going on morning walks. morning walk done quick little deep work block where I just basically just um, switch off my phone and just get you know a bunch of work done before that first call at 11. Um, so it, we basically say you know like how much obviously because our coaching is very much you know revenue related we ask them you know what is your current monthly revenue what are your aspirations? How serious are you about the coaching? Um, mm -hmm. you know, do you have funds available to invest into yourself, etc.? And if they say no, well, then we know, okay. Um, with that said, one of our clients is, it's obviously it's not emotional intelligence, it's, it's peak performance. Um, and yeah. what he has done is, because it, it sort of goes along the same lines, it's about you know progressing, um, changing your daily habits and routines to you know basically be able to manage your workload better, get more done in less time, etc. Um, you know, focus more on productivity. Oh, okay, guys, so that is the first sort of two calls done. I've done one, Elliot's done one, um, and then we have to check it, of course. So that is sort of another deep work block now. Maybe get something to eat and then prepare for the Facebook Live that is at 3 p.m. Yo, yo. Yo. Brother, how's it going? That's good, man. Yeah? Yeah, good, man. Ah, oh, man. Sommige klanten. Echt. Ja, hoe je de gek, man. Je hebt veel calls, hè? 
Okay, so that was just a quick little uh, in-between call, little last minute thing, just to set up the tracking for one of our new clients, which is uh, quite an interesting one to be fair. Um, we're going to be throwing a lot of money towards Facebook. Um, I think his starting budget is 15k, so yeah, happy to be working um, with clients with a larger budget like that. Gives us more room to test, more room to basically you know sort things out, etc. And the great thing about it is his whole offer is proven, so it works. And it's what I always say, you know, help winners win more because it's much, much easier. And when you start out, it is generally, you know, it's, it is easier to get clients that are just starting out as well because they don't really want to spend a lot of money on an agency that's, you know, that has a high retainer. But once you get past that point where you can actually start working with established companies with proven offers, etc., you'll notice that media buying and just the whole having a client in general gets much, much easier because the offer is proven. It's much more smooth sailing. You're not scrambling you know, with a little tiny budget to test out as many things as possible because you know what works and what doesn't. The client knows what works and what doesn't. The client's avatar is down to a T. So, they, so the client's clients, the customer that you're trying to target, they know exactly who to target and who not to target, etc. And you can really touch upon those pain points that the client provides. So helping winners win more is basically you know the the, the moral of the story, the golden nugget for today, um, rather than you know going for the startups, etc. Because you'll notice, unless that is you know unless that is your thing where you really do help startups scale, unless that is true. Try and focus on clients that are already established businesses. I will notice that it's easier to charge higher ticket, but it's also easier to get results because everything is already there for you to basically run with. So that is my little golden nugget for now. I'm gonna get another deep work block in before the Facebook Live, and then of course we've got the, um, the, the other call right after that. <laughs> So guys, just got another deep work block done. Actually, based up on the couch, as you can see, the screen is quite orange. Um, I've been using Flux like religiously, to be fair. Like as soon as I open up my laptop, uh, Flux goes on, which for those that don't know, is basically like this. Um, it, it blocks the blue light of my laptop screen, just so it's it's easy to get a lot of work done. It doesn't um, mess about with um, you know, your, your melatonin levels, etc. But anyway, um, yeah, deep wave I've done. It's nine minutes to three now, but I've got that Facebook Live at 3 p.m. So um, I'm gonna find my phone, cause I, it's somewhere here. I think it's still in the office, actually. Um, like I said, I like to remove my phone, like just like out of reach when I'm doing outreach, uh, outreach when I'm doing uh, deep wave block, just so, you know, I don't get distracted. Um, so yeah, find my phone, get set up. What I'm thinking of doing is actually basing up there at the table for the Facebook Live, just so it's a bit more relaxed and uh, just so you know I'm not constantly in the office, a bit of change of scenery, uh, do the Facebook Live, and then like I said, we've got that last call at quarter to four, I think it is. Yo, yo, we are live. Welcome guys, 15 minute Friday. We'll actually try and stick to the 15 minute mark for today's live, um, and I've basically tried to, I've had to squeeze this live in between a few meetings and deep work blocks. So um, yeah, we will keep this one relatively short, guys. My apologies in advance. Um, just waiting for a few people to arrive in the live now. Um, also, if you guys are watching, just let me know quickly if the audio is fine, the video is fine. Just so I know, you know, it's it's a successful live. I'm not just sitting here talking to myself and no one can actually hear what I'm saying. Um, as you can see, out of the office for today's live as well. Um, obviously the last time we had the issue with the mouse not working properly, so I thought, yeah, let's just, you know, stick to, uh, or let's play, play it safe and actually just uh, use the laptop and, um, yeah, have the live in the living room. Anyway, there are, there are a few things that I do want to these, uh, discuss. Um, the first one is the outreach templates. Obviously, I um, let you guys know that we do have like, a template of all the proven emails that we use, etc., for outreach for our agency. Um, and I will get that to you guys as soon as possible. I know a bunch of you guys replied. Let me see, I've got like 29 comments below that post already from people wanting those email templates. Like I said, I will get those uh, to you ASAP. We've got uh, two people already in the live. Shavam, how are you doing, mate? Hope you're doing well. 
Um, and I said, we've got one more person. So whoever that is, let me know in the comments who you are and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Shabam, let me know, man. Is the quality of the video and the audio fine? Um, if it is, let me know, and then I know to continue with the live and not mess with the settings. Um, so yeah, the outreach templates, you guys will get those ASAP. I'll send you a message on, um, send you a message. Elliot says, hey bro, all right pal, hope you're doing well. Hope you're getting work done, hope you're doing the outreach. Um, yeah, so outreach templates will be uh, sent via uh, personal message on Facebook, so I'll get those to you ASAP. Then the next thing I wanna talk about is the ads manager. Um, so the ads manager, on Facebook is something that a lot of people still don't really understand. People still, you know, I got a question today, what um, someone asked me what CPM was. And I'm like, come on guys, like we're marketers, you know, we, we need to know this stuff. Like, okay, you know, some of you guys don't actually run the ads yourselves. You guys will find an outsource or a media buyer, etc. that is fine. But those are like basic things that we really need to know guys. Like, you know, it's our responsibility to understand the ads manager, to understand the metrics. So sort of homework for you guys today is go into the ads manager and just have a play around, have a look around, look at the metrics, look at the columns. And if there's anything that you don't understand, just Google it, just try and figure out what it is. So, you know, the CPM, the CPC, uh, ROAS, you know, what does that all mean? You know, again, for me, that's basic stuff. That is really, really basic stuff. And that should be basic stuff for you guys as well. So have a look in the ads manager, you know, feel free to ask me any questions regarding ads, regarding metrics, regarding columns, etc. You know, that is obviously what this group is here for, but just do some research yourself. And like I said, try and understand what those metrics mean and how they get impacted by other metrics and how you know the performance of the ads um, is of course. So if an ad is not performing as well, what metrics, you know, are going to increase or decrease uh, because of that and you'll notice that once you understand those basic metrics running Facebook ads it's not rocket science like and you'll notice that okay if the CPC goes up that means that the, the CTR might go down and that mean, might mean that the CPM will go up as well and you'll see the the structure of the ads and you'll, you'll, you'll see those changes and you'll be able to analyze the data much more efficiently um, if you just understand what everything means so that is the homework assignment for you guys for today um, so that is my little rant over. We've got 10 people in the live now, which is good. I think that's a, a record actually. Um, yeah, so feel free to let me know who is watching the live. That immediately dropped down to seven. That's funny. I think people uh, think I can see them or something like that, but yeah. Feel free to let me know who is still watching, who didn't um, feel like I caught them doing something wrong and immediately left the live. Um, and then I'll just quickly see if there's any questions below the post that I put up. Uh, there we go, question from Murray. As usual, I can always rely on Murray to uh, add a question to the live. He says, tips on other niches besides a dentist niche for local lead gen, et cetera. Um, I was, as soon as I read that, I was gonna say e-commerce, but you've already mentioned that you wanna sort of limit it to local lead gen. Um, local lead gen could be anything, right? Uh, Darren just popped up, right, Darren? Hope you're doing well, mate. Um, local legion can literally be chiropractors, spas, um, it can be realtors, it can be car dealerships. Again, you know, um, this is overall, so you know, some of them might be influenced or by, might be limited by the pandemic, etc. But uh, just in general, you know, those are um, sort of niches that you can go after. Here's one, if you don't wanna go for local, I would look into online coaches because there are literally online coaches for anything nowadays. I seen on um, on Google. I seen there's an online coach for taking selfies. Like that's that's the world we live in, guys. Like you know, if there's a if there's a coaches out there for taking selfies, then you know that for me just proves that okay, the coaching niche is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so yeah, that is definitely one that you can look into because with coaching, the possibilities are endless. Right, right. It's an info product, which means that the profit margin is 100% or almost 100%, you know, unless they have some kind of like physical thing that they send over to you guys um, or to the people that enroll. So with that, there's a lot of room to run ads and to run paid traffic and to, you know, basically get more customers and more people in for their offers. So coaching is a niche that I would definitely, definitely look into. Um, so yeah, that is the question from Murray. Like I said, guys, we've got um, a few minutes, we've got like 10 minutes, and then I'll probably wrap up. So let me know any questions that you guys have got, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. 
Um, let me see, was that the only question? Let's quickly refresh the page. I was a bit late to be fair with posting that thing about the, me going live, so my apologies for that. Um, let me see if there's any other questions as well. Because Mur, I think you asked something about the iOS 14 stuff as well, right? Let's see, is there anyone confident here with iOS 14 and having a hard time to track my leads in the funnel will be appreciated? And I replied, yes, I'm confident. And then you said, um, having a hard time setting up conversions is not tracking on the thank you page. Um, so first thing you need to do, obviously, is to make sure that your domain is verified, your business manager is verified, etc. Um, even though the BM verification is not as relevant for like, the tracking on iOS 14, it is something that Facebook want to proactively get um, everyone to do, so that basically going forward, the business manager is you know above board. It's it's you know legit in their eyes, the business that is running ads is legit. And then the domain needs to be verified in order for you to assign one event that you want to have as the highest priority event going forward. So that if people do opt out with iOS 14.5, that you can still track that one event. Once you've got that set up, um, to be fair, from that point onwards, it's just a matter of using the event setup tool, which FYI is a bit buggy today. I've tried to set up um, for two different clients try to set up new events and um, the event setup tool just keeps buffering and keeps loading. So that's, that was a little bit of an issue, but regardless, just go into the event setup tool, paste the URL that you wanna track, which in this case, as you mentioned, is the thank you page. And then from there, just assign an event to that. So for example, with, um, cause I know that you're in the dentist niche, regist complete registration or lead or anything like that on that thank you page. So um, yeah, that is, to be fair, that, that, that's all that is, is to it. So going forward, I've actually done a YouTube video on this as well. So feel free to check out my latest YouTube video, um, verify the domain, verify the business manager. If you get any issues with Facebook taking down your profile, um, your business manager, my apologies, not your profile, then it might be because your profile is not confirmed with Facebook. So you need to confirm your identity moving forward as well with Facebook, with a passport or driver's license or anything like that. So those are the three things that need to be verified and legit moving forward. Let me see if there's any more questions. Is there any questions in the live? No, you guys are just all chilling. No questions, or at least there's no questions that I can see. Um, so let me just quickly see if there's any think in the group that we can discuss. Um, let's see, Alexander Contich says, um, he sent a screenshot of a restricted ad account and then what you can do to get it back. Um, I've already replied with obviously see restrictions and appeal. Um, but going forward, if you guys have your clients, business managers, um, you know, taken down or restricted or anything like that, it is usually like going forward, it will probably be because of the domain. It needs to be verified. The business manager needs to be verified and Facebook are showing no mercy when it comes to this. So they will take down your business manager. They'll take it down for unacceptable business practices because in their eyes, it is unacceptable to run ads going forward without a verified business manager. So all you need to do is go to account quality or click on the ads manager and click on like see more or view more or see details or anything like that. When you get the pop-up saying this account is restricted and then just go to see restrictions and then go to appeal. Just select the little, little checkbox where it says, I am not sure what I did wrong. And then usually at that point, you'll get a pop-up saying you need to confirm your identity. This needs to be the client, okay? Not you, the client. The owner of the business manager needs to confirm their identity and then all you need to do once the client has done that is verify the BM and verify the domain. And obviously that is something that the client needs to do with you or do it you know, for you because obviously you do not access or possess those uh, documents that they need to upload. Um, let's see, we've got two more questions here from Emran. One is, what are your thoughts on creating a funnel on a specific platform? ClickFunnels or WordPress Carflow. Um, how how will, how else would you create a funnel, man? Like, to, obviously you know there are loads of software out there, but yeah, if when I think of creating a funnel, I use ClickFunnels. That is my go-to platform. I use ClickFunnels for almost everything. Um, when we've got clients that don't have ClickFunnels, I set it up on my own ClickFunnels as well. Um, so yeah, ClickFunnels is my go-to place for building funnels. It's easy. Yes, of course, you know, it's, it's what is it? It's 97 a month or 297 a month or something like that if you've got the, the upgraded plan. 
But at the end of the day, it's just investing into your business, right? Like it makes, I would rather spend the 97 a month on click funnels and be able to create funnels instantly than mess about with WordPress and stuff like that and take three, four, five times as long just so I'm, you know, I save a couple of dollars a month um, on, on the click funnel software. So, um, Imran, I, I'm not 100% sure what your question is. You're just asking what my thoughts are. Those are my thoughts. If, if you need me to explain in more depth and detail or anything like that, just let me know, man. Um, you know, because I, I don't want to, you get, I don't want you get you to get the feeling that I'm not answering your question properly. Um, then Ava says, I've got my first meeting next week. Congratulations, man. Good stuff. With a solo company, quick three tips to close them. Ask about their current situation. Ask about the um, you know the desired situation based on where they want to go to and then if you can bridge the gap just offer your service there and then it's again you know sales is not rocket science these there's so many outdated sales scripts and stuff like that guys just keep it simple build up the relationship come across as genuine and like i said once you know where they are currently at where they want to go to if you can confidently say that you can bridge that gap you know to get them to the next level with facebook ads or google ads or whatever you know type of offer that you've got then it's you'll notice that cloning deals is actually quite quite easy um emran said it, it was exactly that what you prefer to use oh yeah man so click funnels is my go-to place and uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, I, once i find something that i like i don't really tend to look anywhere else like for example a few months back that go high level was everywhere right everyone's talking about go high level and I'm just too set in my ways to, to, to change from ClickFunnels to somewhere else. Even though maybe Go High Level might have been better or you know it might have been a hype, I don't know. Like I said, I just stuck to ClickFunnels and didn't really look look to change or anything like that. Another question from Amos, he said, I heard that you need to add an app to your business manager to get verified. Is that correct? If so, what app ID do I need to add? This is only the case if you cannot verify your business without an app. So if you go to business info, business settings, um, the way around, business settings, then business info, and then go to uh, like the little little dot basically below your business details. If that is blue, uh, that means it's in review. If that is grayed out, that means it's unverified. If it's green, then it's verified, then you're obviously good to go. So if it's gray, go to the right and it says see details. Click on that and then you'll have like the, the bottom checkbox. So it will say, um, you know, click here to verify your business manager. If you cannot click on that button, then yes, you need an app ID. Then you need to go to developer.facebook.com. Um, on the right, it will say something like create app or something like that. Click on that um, and then just go through all the settings. Just quickly do it. You don't need to spend too much time on it because you don't really use the app anyway. It's just a glitch within Facebook that if you have an app created, the button will be enabled and then you can verify the business manager. So you don't really need to have an app. It's just a little quick way of being able to verify the bm going forward um rather than waiting for several weeks because i think if you hover over it it says something like facebook will not allow you to verify your business manager until several weeks of complying with advertising policies or something like that obviously no one's got time to wait several weeks so creating the app is just a quick solution a quick way around that um and then Avo says thanks for the answers no worries man happy to help um, let me just quickly go to the post again see if there's any other questions if not we'll probably wrap up this call here guys because um, like I said, I do need to prepare for one more meeting. And okay, so there's no questions on the post. Um, and then one last question from Ava says, sorry, where do I add the app? So when you go into your business manager, just go to, I think it's just it's literally called apps, I think, man. Okay guys, so that is the Facebook Live done as well. Um, we make good time there actually. It's 20 past three now. So smash out that live in 20 minutes. Um, so I've got about 20 minutes now to prepare for this meeting. And I also want to give a quick shout out to two coaching students that have really been putting in a lot of effort and a lot of hard work basically to build up their agencies. Uh, Daniel, you know, a shout out to you. I know how much time and effort you put into it. I know how you struggled at the start with finding the right niche and the right offer, etc. And now that you've found it, you've just skyrocketed your agency. And uh, Daniel is now at 20K a month, which is absolutely insane. It's amazing. Um, very proud of you, bro. And uh, like I said, that is all on you. You put in the work, you put in the efforts, and now you can. Uh, basically, you know, those are the results of your efforts and hard work. And the next shout out goes to Caitlin, who is now at 5.5k recurring with her agency as well. Again, for the same reason discipline, 
hard work and going after it and actually putting in you know the time and the effort to build up the agency you know i've said this so many times yes an agency is a very lucrative business it's um in my opinion a very easy online business model to build up and scale but it's not a get rich quick scheme you do need to put in a lot of time and a lot of effort especially at the start you do really need to focus on it and uh, yeah it's not a get rich quick scheme but in my opinion it is a get rich quicker scheme you can earn a lot of money with it and uh, like i said those two coaching student results are um you know two examples of that if you guys need any help with building up your agency you know getting started uh, doing the outreach you know getting results for your clients etc then uh, add me as a friend on facebook and uh, send me a message on facebook and i can see if uh, i can help you with that we can hop on a quick call you know not in sales you no know, pressure not like that just to see if it's the right fit for you if it is if i do think i can help you i'll walk you through everything including you know the investments involved etc and uh, like i said i can personally help you get you or agency started just like they with Caitlin and Daniel and uh, yeah like I said help you live life on your own terms as well anyway I'm going to take a 10 minute break or so and then prepare for the last meeting and then uh, we'll probably wrap up this video sorry Josh how are you about that how are you no worries not bad how are you yeah great man brilliant awesome. any plans for the weekend absolutely nothing just getting work done basically what are you yeah I know, I know. Covid has made everybody so productive. There's nothing to do. <laughs> That's it. Might as well get waked on if there's nothing else to do. Totally, man. Totally. Um, let me just see where Logan is. Yeah, no worries. All right, guys. So that was the last call of the day, and I'm gonna quickly move to the living room because I know that the audio is not the best uh, in the office space if I'm not wearing a mic. So um, yeah, like I said, that is the end of sort of my work day. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break now and then probably just reply to some messages, reply to some DMs for the remainder of the day and just uh, chill. It is a Friday after all. Not that it makes any difference to be fair, you know, um, I work most days. With that said though, um, I know there is a big misconception about, you know, sort of like the laptop lifestyle and, you know, running ads yourself. So on one side of the spectrum, people have this assumption that you don't need to do anything at all. It's all passive. That is not the case. You know, like I said, I do work every day. Um, it's not full eight hour days every day. As you can see, today was quite a chill day, a couple of calls here and there. Other than that, we had the morning check-in. And to be fair, if it wasn't for those calls, the morning check-in, which lasted about an hour to uh, 90 minutes, something like that. Um, like After that morning check-in, I've literally gone through all of my clients' campaigns, all of the ad accounts, and you know from there, basically, the sort of real physical like work day that I had to get done that day is over. And then those calls are just to maintain the relationships with my clients, um, you know, to work on new ideas. And the great thing about the situation that I'm in now, what I'm really grateful for, is that the calls that we have with clients now are more like brainstorming new ideas to make money together, rather than me listening to like assignments and getting assignments from my clients and me setting them up like some kind of VA. And uh, like I said, that's just a situation that I'm very grateful for to be in. But in terms of like the time that I spend working, like I said, it is a daily thing. Every single day I'll go through the accounts. Every single day I will manage the client's ads because that is how I've positioned myself within the agency. I do all the media buying, I do the fulfillment, but other than that, there is not much to it. You know, it's it's not like I'm um, working 80 hour weeks or nothing like that. You know, I'm not doing like an extreme amount of work every single day. It's just making sure that the campaigns are successful, the campaigns are bringing in money for our clients and that the clients are getting good results. So in terms of social media marketing like i said for me the way i've built my agency it's not passive and to be fair i don't want it to be passive um i enjoy very much to be working inside the agency to know what is going on to like i said just continue those relationships with the clients and uh just you know work together alongside those clients because that is what it feels like at the end of the day it's no longer um which what i thought it was going to be so at the start i outsourced everything to media buyers, outsourced everything to people um, that I found online, Upwork, etc. Because I didn't want to be in a situation where I felt like I just had multiple bosses. But now, because I do have that higher quality, higher tier client, 
it's more like I'm working together with friends that I've met online, working on their businesses, and I'm getting a cut of you know at, you know whatever deal it is that I make with these clients. Um, either retainer, or, you know, percentage of uh, the ad spend. Um, I've got a few ref share deals as well. So it's it's like I'm working along like on a project that I will benefit from as well. So uh, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to wrap up this video with that to tackle the two misconceptions that if you are running ads you know, for your clients that you're a media buyer and that you're working in the business rather than on the business and stuff like that. And also to tackle the misconception that, you know, if you have an agency, you don't do anything at all and it's all passive and you can live the laptop lifestyle, which you can, but like I said, I do recommend playing an active role in it so that you can truly scale the business uh, because the laptop lifestyle is actually much harder than you think because yes, you can outsource it for cheap and cheerful, but you'll notice that the lifetime value of your clients will be just atrocious. Your clients will leave sooner than you get the clients in and you'll notice that it, it's not a case of, oh, just outsourcing it to the cheapest media buyer you can find and you'll be fine, you'll be able to live the laptop lifestyle because uh, like I said, I've, I've learned the hard way that nowadays it's no longer the case. Back then when Facebook ads were still in its infancy, no one really understood what was going on. It was easier to sort of get away with it. Nowadays you need to be on the ball, especially with the new iOS 14 update. You know, this is going to separate the men from the boys. And if you do not understand Facebook ads, if you do not understand the tracking, etc., and the media buying, I think you are going to be in big, big trouble. So, like I said before as well, you know, if you need any help with this, feel free to reach out to me. You can either book a call in the description box down below, or you can just send me a message on Facebook, and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer you guys there. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Um, is there anything else I want to show you guys? Not really, no. So I will wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do more vlogs like this. If not, just let me know as well. And I just continue with the info, uh, informational videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.